Okay guys, let's get started straight away. So as you can see at the moment, I'm running um, my software on the Mac and I'm running it within Parallels, running Windows 10 and um, this is running Coral Draw in coherent mode. So that basically means that it will run it just like any other um, software. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that straight away, open up Coral Draw and run in 2018 here. Um, if you look up on the top bar, the, the title bar, you can see straight away that that uh, tells you that's 2018. Um, just moving a little bit underneath that, you can see straight away that's the um, title, that's the um, menu bar, and you can see straight away I can click on that one. Um, it shows like a new document, open document, etc. Basically, just the same as any sort of normal Windows program. Straight away underneath that, you've got the menu bar. Um, again which is um, the different version of it which is in the standard toolbar area that's just repeating some of those features at the top there so new document open document save uh, print that's obviously grayed out we don't have any documentation open at the moment and you can see that down the left hand side here the toolbox that is all grayed out as well because you need a document open over the um, right hand side you've got your um, Color palette going all the way down, a docker window giving you information about the objects, hints. Hints are really handy as well. These are like flyouts here. Um, as you're drawing stuff, uh, certain tools, if you want that um, hints panel open, it will show you other things that you can do with uh, that particular object or tool. Um, the toolbar at the top here, the standard toolbar option, gives you lots of information about the object or the tool, again, that you're um, working on. So, like if you had a uh, a circle on the screen, it would give you the dimensions. Uh, let's close the, uh, the flyout um, docker over here. Let's just close it up. Uh, behind it, you've got your color palette. Um, going right to the bottom of that color palette, you can expand it and retract, retract it by that. Along the bottom of Coral Draw, you've got uh, line, uh, line fill, um, solid color fill. Uh, here is a status bar right next to that, which shows you things like um, your same documents exporting. So if you've got any background tasks running. Over this side here, you've got a color match pipette tool, which is handy if you're using um, different sort of um, drawing components such as vectors, uh, sorry, not vectors, as um, bitmaps, and you want a color match with your vector. Okay, so this is a vector-based drawing software, which basically means it works on um, mathematic equations and lines rather than a piece of software like Photoshop which works on bitmaps. Um, you can still import the bitmaps, you can still manipulate them. CoralDraw itself has um, Photo Paint installed which is um, a very powerful drawing um, software tool for um, bitmaps. Um, so you can bring a bitmap in here, you can uh, almost run it a little bit like Adobe where it will export back out into that software, as soon as you save it, it saves it back into the Coral Draw document um, so you can change colors and stuff. But most of the things that you need will be able to be controlled within Coral Draw. So, as you can see at the moment, most of the tools are all grayed out. That's because we don't have any document. Um, like I said, when you first start it up, it may look different to this uh, depending on the version, depending on how you um, installed it or how you last saved the software. So, don't worry too much about it. We're going to change it how it looks now. So I'm going to click on new document so you can do control N, I can click new document here, go up to the taskbar um, or the menu and select new. Either one of those is going to open a new document. So let's open that up now. First shout you're going to get, create a new document window. It's going to give you some parameters that you might want to set up in here. First one being you might want to give it a name, like let's call it test. Um, standard Coral Draw defaults. At the moment the software is set up because I've just installed it. Um, this is it, like in the US mode. Um, really what I want is to put this into metric mode. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to find A4, um, which is for European. It gives me the dimensions of the documents immediately under that, which is 210 millimeters um, wide. The height of the document is 297. Um, we can change that to landscape or portrait if we want to. We can have 20 pages if we want, which are, signif uh, which are signified by tabs that will show along the bottom edge of the document um, down the bottom on the left here. You'll see that. I'm going to leave it at just one for now. Standard primary color mode, CMYK, resolution, not too fussed about any of that. If you just want it to automatically every time open an untitled document, um, 
in A4, click this box here, and every time you hit new, it will just open it. I'm gonna do that because if we do need to change it, it's very, very simple. So let me just go ahead and press OK. And straight off, you're gonna see we've got our first plain A4 document open, okay? Let's just stop the video there and then move on to the next section.